seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J. Baby from Ricky J. Sports. And today I have a video for you guys. I'm going to showcase what I believe to be is the worst stand-up style in the game. I was facing a guy and, yeah, no surprise, it was Division 8 guy. And he was using Conor McGregor. And he was using the old distant game where he was tickling my front leg basically the whole fight. And I just think it's the worst fighting style. And I know there's a lot of dorky fighting styles out there, but this has to be the worst. So I want to show you guys this. I didn't commentate over it, but I'll talk about it in the end. Alright people, so sit back, relax, and watch what I believe to be the worst stand-up fighting style. I'm Pettis, by the way. Enjoy. Between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Anthony, Showtime Pettis. Our tale of the take. For this featherweight championship fight, McGregor is 27, Pettis is 29. McGregor will have a one-inch reach advantage. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliotta. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! The Conor McGregor, Anthony Pettis. Ready? And go, go. here we go. The featherweight title is on the line. Championship fight. Five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Pettis. Black trunks for McGregor. Joe, we have seen many title fights over the year, but few have been as much anticipated as this matchup. Bad blood back and forth. Two of the best fighters ever to come. Wow! Big right hand clipped him. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Nice transition, right into side control. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. He hip escapes from the full mount. McGregor gets side control. Here's a little piece of trivia for folks who don't know. The reason why you're not allowed to do a downward elbow, 12 to 6, is because when they first brought mixed martial arts to athletic commissions, the people on the commission said, well, you can't let someone do that. I saw people break bricks with that on ESPN. <laughs> In reality, there's really very little difference between a downward elbow or a 45 degree elbow or, or what have you. Good connection with the straight by McGregor. Nice kicks. Hard kick lands. What a jab. Wow. Oh, very nice. Oh, he's going for it here. Wow, he is getting off some massive kicks. Oh, another body kick. Oh, and he's down. Pettis up again. There's a nice left hand. Anthony Pettis with a nasty leg kick. And again. again with the leg kick. He connects wow. with the straight. Big head kick connect. This could be it right here. Big straight punch. Solid shot to the body. He connects with the left. Gigantic kicks. Oh, There's big head kick. kick. Jump. Hard straight punch. Combination. They are trading strikes here. This is an incredible exchange. Vicious combination. Body kick, look at that. Oh, he's winding up with these kicks. He connects on a nice combination. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. 
Nice inside leg kick by McGregor. He's back up again. And right. that'll be the end of round number one. Conor McGregor's lucky to get out of that round. That was a huge knockdown. Very lucky. That was very close to being stopped. He looked like he was in big trouble. Here we see that again. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. That was beautiful. I don't know how he survived that knockdown. You're going to go out there and you're going to knock him down again. We close the deal here. I want you to ravage this guy. Get on him. The beautiful Ariani getting us set for round number two. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Here we go, round two. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Tagged him. And he's looking for that left. McGregor with the kick to the midsection. Nice shot. McGregor caught again. McGregor with a nasty body kick. And here we see the number of total strikes landed so far in the fight. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. That huge head kick was blocked. Oh, head kick! Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Big combination. Nice jab. Big shots. Oh, oh, combination. Wow, another big jab scores. Oh! Oh, big body kick. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Joe, that cut keeps getting worse, and it looks nasty. Pet is landing some vicious body shots. Ah, you're right, Joe. Very good exchanges here. He blocks the punch. Big kick just missed. To the body. Connected there. Conor McGregor's got to do a much better job of utilizing his reach advantage. He's certainly not utilizing his reach advantage or his distance to the best of his abilities. There oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice. Hard jab. Nasty combinations here. Huge kicks. He can't connect with the straight left. Pettis gets hit by that right kick. Looking for a body shot. Good straight by Pettis. Nice kick. Another hard kick to the body by McGregor. Yeah, absolutely. Left kick to the body. Big roundhouse kick. That huge kick to the body was blocked. Good counter. Oh, Round number two like complete. Conor McGregor's cut on that cheek has really opened up. That cut on his cheek is opened up. His face is hanging off. They need to stop this. Very impressive striking going on in that round. We expected a bloody fight. We knew this was going to happen. We expected that war. Refocus and keep those hands up this round. I need you to... Re Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Joe, that was a good round we just saw. It'll be very interesting to see if the fighters can keep this pace though. I think they will keep this pace. I think they're actually going to probably start turning it up a notch as we head down the home stretch. Good block. 
Nice jab by McGregor. Oh, big shot with the straight. Just misses with the left. Wow, check out this stat. Leg kicks landed. Oh, and he connects again. He's definitely targeting that cut. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Back nice. and forth. Pettis is cut. Nice work on the counter. Oh, huge kick to the midsection. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Nice jab. Anthony Pettis is continuing to attack that bad eye. He certainly is targeting it, and the more that eye swells, the less his opponent's going to be able to see the punches coming. And up with the head kick. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. And there's a nice straight by McGregor. Good kick. Midway point of the fight. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Good right by Pettis. Looks for that front kick, but missed it. Great defense as he blocks that body shot. Good jab. Hard body kick by Conor McGregor. McGregor with the right to connect. Nice inside leg kick. He just missed with the right. They are exchanging here, Mike. This fight very well may be stopped in between rounds just because of the blood loss, Mike, because that is extraordinary. Pettis with more body shots. Oh, that's a big straight. Pettis with a solid right kick to the midsection. Trying to get a head kick in. Quick kick. That strike blocked by Pettis. That left misses. Nice punch by Pettis. Oh, wow! Gregor's rocked at the end of that round, but he was saved by the bell. That was a very dangerous moment for him at the end of that round. Listen. Uh, you ready? You ready? We are in the championship rounds. Round four. Joe, we have made our way to the championship round. This is what separates the men from the boys. This is where the fight gets really difficult. The last 10 minutes of a championship fight are absolutely crucial. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Hit him with a jab. Man, if the game plan was to punish the body, then he's done a great job. Look at all that bruising. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. You could hear that one, Joe. Yeah, he got hurt. And he loves that left high kick, Mike. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Great job blocking that one. He, oh, yeah. Oh, big kick. Back up. Powerful jab. Oh, did he snap that kick? Oh, he's landing at will. Oh, Joe, another strong jab. Powerful kick. McGregor with the solid jab. Joe, that was well done, blocking the punch. McGregor with a solid right kick to the body. And he's looking for that left. Oh! oh. Front kick to the face. Nice combination. He 
caught him with the head kick. Solid shot to the body. Oh, that's a big kick. Hard straight punch. Great relentless pace. Big punch. Strong jab. Body kick, look at that. And a nice kick. Strong right by Pettis. Joe, his jab has been very effective in this fight. That swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. Good slip and counter by Pettis. Oh, oh nice wow. body kick. Great exchange. Pettis with a strong combination. Big kick misses. He's really mixing things up tonight. Great job wow. with the roundhouse. Wow. 20 minutes in the books, and that's the end of round number four. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Now listen, we are losing this fight. I need you to dig down and get going this round. Everything we do has to be hard and fast. You've got to finish this round. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? It's the final round. Five minutes left. McGregor with a vicious body kick. He avoided damage blocking the big kick. Wow! Oh! He's in deep trouble, Mike. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. a head kick. Oh, solid jab. Oh, big body kick. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, and he another jab. Whoa. This could be it. Big straight punch. that kick oh very nice three minutes remade in this fight man Joe he is all kinds of beat up the bruising just gets worse and it's due to all those body shots shot to the body oh big swing and a miss by McGregor Absolutely brutal kick to the body by Pettis. Good straight punch. McGregor with a strong kick. That's a solid straight. Big roundhouse kick. Head kick. Nicely done. The huge head kick is blocked. Nice roundhouse kick. Good jab. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. More hard body kicks from Conor McGregor. McGregor with the good jab. Final minute of the fight. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. 45 seconds on the clock. He did a nice job blocking the head kick. Kick to the body, standing and trading. Exactly what we had hoped for. 20 seconds on the clock here in the round. To the body. Pettis with the nice straight. Wham! The right and the left behind it. They go the distance. This title fight is now in the hands of the judges. Let's take a look at our fight replay. And a big part of this fight was... Judges rendered their decision. Bruce Buffer has it.
Who is our victor? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 50-45, Pettis. Judge two scores it, 48-47, McGregor. And judge three scores this contest, 49-46, for the winner by split decision, and new undisputed UFC. Wow, people, so there you have it. I just finished watching the fight. And I'm lucky, man. I'm lucky to get the victory on that one. He was doing a great job. To be positive, he was doing a great job sticking to his game plan. But man, it wasn't frustrating just trying to deal with that, trying to get inside. And he did rock me a couple times, but he just didn't come in to engage enough to get the victory. But let me know in the comment section below what you believe to be is the worst stand-up style. The one that's the most frustrating. The Conor McGregor's and the John Jones style where they use their length, in my opinion, is the worst. And this was just a quick example of it right there. Alright people, so I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this fight. I'm glad I got the victory. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.